uh, start with the intro here. Uh, we're going to be basing it around like the D sharp chord. This will be in the original recorded key. Okay, so uh, we'll be in the D sharp area. Uh, start with the D sharp suspended four. So six on the A, eight on the D G, and at the moment uh, we'll hit this nine on the B. Okay, and from there we'll make it a D sharp minor. So just uh, basically take that 9 on the B, make it a 7 now, okay, with that shape, and give this a couple strums. Okay, come back to the, the suspended 4 with the 9, hit it once, all right, back to the D minor for a couple strums, and now we're going to shift to, uh, not necessarily picking the whole chord, but just a couple notes in it. Uh, it's a D sharp suspended two, so basically just take that seven on the B and just come off of it so that it's a six now. And with this, you really want to emphasize these uh, couple notes here, the six on the B to the eight on the G. Okay, so we went. All right, and we ultimately land on a, a B flat. So you could just, you can make the uh, full bar chord, um, helps me. Uh, but we're really just going to worry about a couple notes here. The 7 on the G, back to the 6 on the B. And if you want, you can you know, hit part of the chord too. But you really just want to emphasize those two notes. Okay, so slowly here. Let's try it. little uh, uh, melody to go along with that uh, I think it's a flute going on all right verse gets going here we're gonna come up to a G sharp minor 7 so just bar the fours, add the six on the A, and just give this a couple strums. Move down for the F sharp bar chord. Just give this a strum, it's kind of a little transitional chord. And then it'll bring us up to a C sharp chord. Four on the A with the six on the DGB there. And uh, this hits just before the measure's out, and then it just kind of strums through the following measure. Just filling out that last measure. Pre-chorus has some interesting stuff going on here. Uh, it switches to more just kind of like the higher voicings of some chords. Um, it'll be back down at the F sharp, all right, so I uh, don't really need, you can do like the full bar chord shape, but we're really just going to be worrying about kind of like the bottom half of it, the D, G, B, and E. And uh, with this, we're kind of going to build up with it for a couple measures, just giving it some eighth note strums like... All right, so a couple measures worth of that. And now we get to these interesting chords. It's a... Uh, Initially a B flat seven flat nine it sounds crazy, but it's just kind of the small little chord here um, What you want to do you want to do seven E six B seven G six D All right, and initially we're just gonna hit this once Come off to just a B flat seven in this voicing uh, by just lifting off that seven E to a six E and once we hit this uh, B flat 7 with the 6 E, we just kind of build on that throughout the remainder of the measure. All right, and the following measure, come back to that 7 on the E for the B flat 7 flat 9 and uh, fill out the, the following measure there by strumming that the same way. And then we just cut and rest. Uh, it's kind of like that bass drum 
um, fill there, okay, into the chorus. Chorus progression. Uh, it's just some familiar chords going on here. Um, kick off with the B flat. Okay, and I like to keep it in this area. Uh, so just the bar chord at the six. And with this, just give it a couple of strums, fill the measure. Okay, down to the D sharp minor, right under it. A couple strums. All right, and now we kind of incorporate part of that intro. A uh, little bit different uh, timing on it. Um, we'll do our, our D sharp suspended four. To the D minor, D sharp minor. Okay, pick through our six to eight on the B and G. And then the seven G to six B through that B flat chord. Okay, go through that a couple times. Uh, and then we just kind of do this buffer measure at the end with B flat. <laughs> 